Hello, my name is Edward Scott, aka Spectro, with Tierra Studios in Houston, Texas. Today I'm going to show you how to sync your external hard drive using Scratch tools, and we're going to sync your external to crates and subcrates in Scratch Live. The first video explained why you might want to use Scratch tools, and today, this lesson, I'm going to show you actually how to execute the Java commands to sync your hard drive into crates and subcrates, and then also how to sync your columns to have all the same column structure in every crate and subcrate. The first thing you want to do is download Scratch Tools. Go to scratchtools.de, download it, install it, and then you want to make sure that Scratch Tools is in your Applications folder. So you can see how I have Scratch Tools here. The next thing is you want to make sure that Scratch Live is not in your Applications folder. You want it to be in your Music folder. The path of this is Users, and then whatever the name that you have created for yourself as a user, minus Spectro, and then you go to Music, and you want Scratch Live to be here. You see I have Scratch Live folder and the app. Once you have that in place and you've got Scratch Tools installed and in your Applications folder, you're ready to go. The way I work this is I have the Java code in a notepad and then I just copy and paste it into Terminal. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I look at my notepad, the bottom half here is for external hard drive. That's the lesson today is how to sync the external hard drive. The first piece of code we're going to type in or copy and paste in is right here. And this is telling your computer where Scratch Tools is. So we're going to copy it we're going to open terminal, we're going to paste it in, hit enter. Now your computer knows where to find Scratch Tools. Next, we're going to type in or copy in and paste in the first bit of code. This first part is going to be the same for everybody. This is the Java part. And the next part is telling your computer where to find Scratch Live. The path is going to be different for you because your computer is different than mine, but it's going to be generally the same volumes, Macintosh HD, users, whatever your username is, minus Spectro, as you can see here, and then music. And then the next part is the code to sync your hard drive into crates and subcrates. And that's that command right here. And then the next part is the path. And you're telling the computer where to find your music. For today's lesson, instead of making a path to where all my thousands of songs are. I've made one folder right here, Spectro, that has my techno folder, which has three subgenres in it. That way, Scratch Live won't take forever to load. So I'm going to copy this. And the code or the path here is volumes, fortunate, which is the name of my external hard drive right here, and then music and then Spectro, and you can see that clearly here. Fortunate, Music, Spectro, and then it's going to sync whatever's in this folder. Okay, so I've copied this, paste in the terminal, hit enter, it's going to go to town. And this is to sync my hard drive into crates and subcrates, and my crates and subcrates are now going to look like a tree system, like this is set up. Okay, the next command is to set all my columns to have the same column structure. So the first part is the same for everybody. The second part is telling my computer where the music, or excuse me, where Scratch Live is, which is the same as up here. This negative R is the code to make all columns have the same structure. And then in parentheses here is the actual column structure that I'm telling Scratch Tools to make in Scratch Live. This is the way I like it set up. You can set it up however you want. And we're going to look at the columns once we sync this and then we open Scratch Live. So I've copied the code. I paste it in. I hit enter. It does its thing. And now we're ready to open Scratch Live. And it should take a sec to load these. And we're ready. 
So you can see I have the tree system set up just like my hard drive, Spectro and then Techno. And if I were DJing with another DJ, I could easily just click this and he wouldn't have to see any of my crates and sub crates. Now typically when I load my stuff, I have crates and sub crates going down for days down here. But as I said before, to make it quick, I just loaded one folder with three different subgenres. And you can see that the column structure is the same for every crate and subcrate. And you can choose whatever column structure you want. And you know you can see the columns and add them and remove them here. But instead of doing it manually, column by column, Scratch Tools allows you to do it in one big swoop, which is excellent. Thanks for tuning in to today's lesson on syncing your external hard drive using Scratch Tools. The next lesson will be syncing your internal hard drive with Scratch Tools. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Edward Scott, a.k.a. Spetro with Tier Studios in Houston, Texas.